moving on to inverse functions first of all let's uh, look at the notation inverse functions are written as f and an upper minus 1 here and x so uh, make sure you know the notation f inverse x next only one to one functions have inverses only one to one functions have inverses I have already spoken to you about one to one functions uh, please remember the horizontal line test to determine if a function is one to one you can refer to your notes previously for facts on one to one functions first let's go ahead and learn how to get the inverse of a function yeah? so if you're given f of x how do you find f inverse x we are learning the mechanics and we can learn the theory later on yeah? we are learning the mechanics so if you're given f of x is x minus 5 and you ask to find f inverse x the few steps first step we will let y equals to x minus 5 this follows the question yeah? it follows the question the question given is fx equals to x minus 5 so we will write y equals to x minus 5 and then what we will do is we will change our y to x and our x to y so where we see a y we will change it to x and where we see an x we will change it to a y I have written it here for you change x to y and y to x so it becomes okay so this one becomes x equals to y minus 5 so the third step is to make now y the subject so y the subject means only y on the left hand side so y becomes bring this 5 across you have y equals to x plus 5 and finally just write down the answer f inverse x equals to what you just obtained x plus 5 okay so three steps first to summarize okay first step let y equals to x minus 5 this follows the question that's given and second step is to change your y to x and your x to y and the last step is to make y the subject and don't forget to write your answer as f inverse x equals to x plus 5 let's look at a second example if we are given fx equals to 2x plus 7 and you ask to find f inverse x so remember first step is to write y equals to 2x plus 7 next step is to change the y to x and the x to y I've done that for you and the last step is of course to write y as the subject so if you pick up from here 2y equals to x minus 7 and you can see it I've written it for you therefore y equals to x minus 7 over 2 and you have your answer write it as f inverse x equals x minus 7 over 2 now let's look at the ideas behind f of x and f inverse x why do we need to study the function and its inverse let's look at the example we used earlier f of x equals to x minus 5 let's say we take x equals to 9 if we take x equals to 9 just a random value we can work out f of 9 okay f of 9 you can plug it in you will get 9 minus 5 equals to 4 so when you take a random value any value x equals to 9 we are going to get the value of y remember I told you that you can use either y or f of x it doesn't matter so when x is 9 y is 4 okay now this value of x equals to 9 we call it 
the object and this value y that we have obtained we call it the image this is the language that we use in something called mapping so x is called the object and 4 here is called the image so objects are part of what we call the domain and images are part of what we call the range so 4 is the image of the object 9 now we've gone from the object okay to the image by using F now we learn in verses because we want to go from the image back to the object so if you want to go from the image back to the object then here we have to use the inverse function that's the reason we study inverses so if you have f inverse x which we also found earlier to be x plus 5 so remember from 9 we went to 4 now we want to go back to 9 we will use x equals to 4 now okay if we use x equals to 4 we'll go back to 9 so let me tell you again the reason we study functions and their inverses is because using functions we can go from the object to the image so we went from 9 to 4 now if you want to come back we have to use an f inverse which is x plus 5 and you plug in 4 now you'll come back to 4 plus 5 equals to 9 so it's very important for us to be able to go uh, from your object to the image and from the image back to the object I've shown you a simple mapping diagram in here and let's look at it we call it mapping yeah? so on the left hand side you will see the object 9 on the right hand side here you will see the image 4 so if you want to go from 9 to 4 I've shown you an arrow you need to use fx if you want to go from 4 back to 9 we need to use f inverse x that's the idea okay so along here we have the x values along here we have the y values I've given you the names earlier x values are referred to as objects and y values are referred to as images so just to go through the second example we had fx equals to 2x plus 7 so let's pick a value of x 7 and when you plug in 7 you'll get 2 times 7 14 plus 7 is 21 so we have an object and we have an image if you want to go back from 21 to 7 you have to use the f inverse x as you can see here plug the 21 inside 21 minus 7 is 14 divided by 2 you will get 7 so you've gone back from the image to the object let's look at a more elaborate example you're given f of x equals to 3x plus 2 over x minus 3 and you're asked to find f inverse x so this is a rational function 3x plus 2 over x minus 3 a uh, couple of remarks note that this function is not defined for x equals to 3 it does not exist for x equals to 3 because when you plug in x equal to 3 in the denominator you have to divide something by 0 and you cannot divide anything by 0 so this function please remember is not defined for x equals to 3 okay so people may uh, write the function like this in books 3x plus 2 over x minus 3 and then they'll say x is, cannot be equals to, cannot be equals to 3 okay let's move on to the mechanics of finding our inverse the first step does not change at all we will let y be equals to the question that is given to us which is 3x plus 2 over x minus 3 so once we do that the next step is always to change your y to x and your x to your y okay so all the x's become y's and all the y's 
in this case there's only one y of course, then y will become x. Then we have to do a bit of algebra because remember the third step is to make y the subject so that involves a little bit of algebra. So what have I done? I have cross multiplied x times y minus 3 and then I have 3y plus 2. I've opened this up uh, xy minus 3x equals 3y plus 2 and after that uh, I've brought the 3y to the left and I brought the th minus 3x to the right so I will have xy minus 3y equals 3x plus 2 do these things slowly okay please do not make mistakes here uh, I've taken out the y factorized it and you'll get x minus 3 here and I have 3x plus 2 here so now I have y equals to 3x plus 2 over x minus 3 so finally write down the answer f inverse x is equal to 3x plus 2 over x minus 3 note f inverse x is also not defined for x equals to 3